I'm going to show you how to make soba noodles, which is actually kind of redundant because soba in, in Japanese means noodle. Yeah, so anyway, soba noodles are made with a grain, a whole grain called buckwheat. And this is an example of buckwheat. This is actually toasted buckwheat groats, aka kasha. And buckwheat has nothing to do whatsoever with wheat. In fact, it's not a grass plant at all, it's a, an herb. So for people with wheat intolerances or or gluten intolerances, no problem with buckwheat. However, mostly most of the noodles that they make um, have wheat in them. But you can buy 100% soba, which is all buckwheat. I have some examples of some um, noodles here. I have um, some wild yam soba, which are made with an herb that's thought to promote longevity. And here's some little bundled sobas. These sobas all have um, wheat in them. Buckwheat is a cool grain. It has lysine in it, which most whole grains are missing. That's an amino acid. And it also has something in it called rutin, which helps uh, strengthen blood vessels. Kind of cool. Maybe that's why it works so well for the, Russian and the Russians and the Asians. I don't know. Anyway, all you need is um, a pot of boiling water. They often will tell you not to salt the water like you do with regular pasta because um, the, the dishes are traditionally served with a salty seasoning on them like a, a broth made out of tamari or something like that. So um, one of these bundles is a pretty small serving, but I'm going to just pop those in there just like that. That's easy. Just a second. Hello? Cynthia, this is Big Jim firefighters for art and children. I'll just right. cut to the chase. Could you give $100 this year and match your generous grant from last year? No, I, I didn't. You're lying. I, I didn't give last year. Sorry. We have a matching grant and uh, $50 will get you 100 this no, year. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. My, my husband is has been laid off. My, my daughter's moved in. She doesn't have a job. I'm the only one that's working and I'm, 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 I'm doing a cooking show and, and for, they, they, act, they don't pay me very much. No. Let's time it. Let's see. These noodles only take four minutes. <laughs> so they'll be done really quickly. I'm just draining these noodles and I'm going to shake the water out of them, cool them off a little bit. So there's the noodles. Aren't they gorgeous? And I'm just, uh, I just put a little, some vegetables on there for a decoration, but like I said, normally you'd put a sauce on these, like a sesame sauce or, or a tahini sauce. And you can, you can serve them as a base for anything. You can put them in a nice broth with ginger and tamari and make yakisoba. That's great. Um, I like to dress them with um, a, a sesame dressing or a, a peanut sauce. Hello? Cynthia, big Jim again. I think we got cut off. Fifty dollars would be very helpful contribution. No, no, we didn't get cut off. For the children. I no, I hung up. I I and would you please take me off your list? For the children, please. Cynthia. Please. For the children. A uh, peanut sauce is good. Um. Uh, what else? Um. I like them just plain like this too. They're just. Good.